Hey, what's up guys? It's Claudio and we are at Randall's Island, the fixed gear crit. This is exciting. This is the end of the two neutral laps. We got two neutrals. I didn't even know what to do with so many neutral laps. Um, so that's it. This is a start. And uh, wow, it's so much fun. Guys, I, I do not know how to stop on a fixed gear bike. I'm just letting you know out there. If you're racing with me, I don't know how to really stop this thing. So just telling you that. And honestly, it's good. It's good that you don't know how to, you can't brake on these bikes because it's so, so simple. You just go. And when you don't want to go so fast, just don't pedal so fast. And that's it. And if you want to slow down, kind of like really don't pedal, you know? And there's, there's things that you can do. People can skid or you can like back pedal um, or just put pressure in like the opposite way. There, there are things that you learn, but it's so simple and it's just less wrecking because of, of, of the no brake situation. And it's great. It's so much fun. Uh, this is a short race. It's 30 minutes or something like that. And uh, I got the stats right here. Normalized power 213. Oh, look at this. Wait, look at that move I did. I followed the good wheel. Boom, I'm moving up. That's nice. I could have stayed back there and kept it safe, but you know, who knows where this guy's going, but I love seeing that stuff. Okay. It didn't take me anywhere too much, but you got to do that. You got to do stuff like that all race. Uh, normalized power 213 average is 183 average speed is 24.3. This is after the neutral lap. And then my gear, my ratio is 51, 16. That's like uh, 86. This works well. You got to have a light gear for this particular race. I think it's important because you're going to see these turns, these corners are going to kill you if you have a heavy gear. I don't know how these guys are doing it with the heavy gear. I mean, I do. They're just strong. They're strong. If you're strong enough, you can do it like this. Look how, look where we slow down to. You got to either take that really wide and then you got to punch out right here and every single lap, look how much we punch out of this corner here. Boom, it's a sprint. And this is what hurts in this criterium. I actually didn't punch out too much here. Usually I'm going up to 800, something like that. This was, uh, this was tame. So that was the whole first lap there. Um, and we're talking about fixed gear racing. Man, it's, it's so much fun. It's, it's like, this is like my, I think this is like my third race or my, my third ever race racing fixed. And I'm loving it. I have a state bikes, the black label. I pimped it out using uh, Yolio wheels and it's awesome. That's all you need. It's not that expensive. Um, oh, check out this guy. There's a rider. Look, <laughs> okay. Look at the, there's some r random cyclist just went through the front of the entire race. Just like cut right in front. It was really scary. And you saw this one guy dip over to the, to the left. You can rewind. Watch the, the guy in front of me totally dip because, you know, what can you do? I, I didn't have time to react, so I just, I, I, I stood my ground, whatever. I couldn't break. I, I barely thought about it, but it did scare me. And it kind of shook people up. Okay, we're moving up. And, um, oh, this is bad. Bad line. I don't know why I did that. And let's see how much I have to pay for it here. Already there's a gap. How many watts do I have to do? I'm running cranks of 165. So I can lean, but I haven't tested the limits of the lean yet on those corners. Usually track cyclists, um, they'll run shorter cranks because of that. Um, so we are, we're lap, four, four laps in. And this is already my second race of the day. I raced uh, the Cat 4, the road criterium at the same course earlier that day. And there was an hour and a half break. So I got to kind of recover, but I was kind of wasted here. I had limited matches. Let's see how I take this line. Slow it down. I get gapped. I really don't know how to keep my speed on that corner, man. And now look at this. Look at this annoying gap. And look what I have to do. But look behind me. So I spiked the power and look at the, look at the huge gap behind me <laughs> and they're in pain. That's painful. That's really painful. 
so that's what that's what I mean by having that lighter gear. It really helps you out when you have to uh, just really step on it and cover close gaps. If I had a, a harder gear, if I, if I were running like 51, uh, 15, forget it. It would take so much strength. Oh, and look at this guy. He unclipped. And look at him. He fight. He, I think he clipped back in actually surprisingly quickly. But imagine unclipping and then not being able to coast. You have to like clip in at, at that high cadence. Actually, it's really hard. It would have freaked me out if that happened. That guy, that guy did a good job, man. So anyways, we're in here. Again, let's take a look at these corners. I kind of hold that one. But again, sprinting out. And this is why you need that kind of criterium type of fitness. Every time that corner, you're sprinting out of it. And it does take a toll on you. But everybody sees these boulders all over the place and they're really not that crazy. When you're riding, you don't think about them. You don't think about crashing into them. You don't fear them. Um, it's, is it, you know, is it safe? It feels safe, four laps to go. It definitely feels safe when you're riding. Here, it looks insane. I know in the video, it looks so crazy. Like everyone's like, I would never do that. We're not going that fast and it's hard to get in an accident on that straightaway. Like what, what can go wrong? I mean, I'm sure stuff can go wrong. That was a lap rider, so that was, a, a, you know, so a, I had to maneuver there. Oh, I go off, tr of course. Well, that's gonna cost me. Oh, man. Oh, man. I gotta close this. That cost me a match big time. And I had to haul ass. And I have the speed, now I'm at 29 miles an hour. And I, I continue with the speed, what am I gonna do? Brake? No, I don't have any. And that was a little sketchy, but what am I gonna do, right? So that's fixed gear racing. You gotta, you gotta hold your momentum, it's two laps to go. And that kind of blew me up, Eight, 182 BPM on my heart rate. I remember I was hurting big time. I was struggling the whole race because of all the surges and I did the same thing on the previous race. And I remembered like that was it. I, I knew that that was my last match and here I'm like I'm letting people know to to go around because I, I barely have anything left Is this last lap? Was that two laps ago? Man, I don't even remember. Okay now we're coming into uh, Okay, this is the second to last lap. Let's see how I'm doing here Am I doing a good job here? Was that it? Was that? No, this can't be the last lap. This is this is now going to be the last lap. I'm closing this down. Okay, this is coming up. Last lap. I'm wasted. Even though my heart rate is uh, 167, forget it. My legs have done so much work. So many of those surges. But this was safe, man. I don't know what to, what to say about fixed gear racing. It just feels smoother. It feels you feel more connected to everything. It's a cool vibe. Everybody is like kind of punk rock and like just ready to shred. And people are on like steel bikes, which is really awesome. And it's a whole nother vibe. I recommend it. It's not scary. It's not as scary as it seems. It sounds. Uh, I know you're, you're without brakes. You just got to kind of feel it. Feel out the, your gearing and, and it becomes comfortable. Uh, the only sketchy time is when you're first starting and you accidentally try to coast and your, your back wheel will kick up and you may wreck, actually. So, but it only happens once or twice and then you learn your lesson. Um, let's see what happens here. This is last lap. I'm feeling good. Not, no, I'm not feeling good. I'm not, I remember now. <laughs> I know it seems like it. I'm looking at my heart rate, I'm like, oh, 160, I'm feeling good. I remember, no, I was dead already. Do I have anything left? This is final lap, here I go. Something's happening. Man, I, I need to attack right here, this is perfect. Go around this guy, there's a line right there. There's a perfect line. Man, and I, I blew it. That's the attack. I, I, I could have timed it so that my attack from the rear would have synced up with that guy's attack then I would be right now in top three. Now I'm, I'm at the back and there's no way. We're going 28, 29 miles an hour. There's no way I can pass him. 
it's getting really skinny here. And now that these crazy boulders, I can't do anything there. Um, actually, now it's kind of scary, like that scary, like that guy passing. Passing people here at 29 miles an hour is, uh, is honestly kind of scary. I'll give you guys that. Um, and then what's really, what I really don't know how to do is a tag on that straightaway and then somehow slow down on this corner to where I don't wreck because several people have wrecked because they overcooked this corner. I don't know what, I, I would be terrified about that. Like how to, how to slow down enough and what's just enough. And this is it, the, the final straightaway, do I have anything left? There's nobody behind me. People have passed me. I'm at the back of the pack. What do I have? Nothing. A little bit, and then I shut it down. I know I can't do anything. Uh, finish at the back of the race, but man, this was good. Good stuff. The first crit, fixed crit gear uh, race of the season. There's gonna be more. There's another one on Sunday, this Sunday, March, whatever that is. I'll be there, hopefully. I'm recovering from a cold. I think I will be able to, to race this weekend. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. Follow me on Instagram. I post all of my updates on there. And I'll see you guys out there. Peace.